In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a brush from a PNG file. And in particular, the brush is from the graphicextras.com circular theme set pack 193. Now, of course, you could use any PNG file or JPEG file, etc., to create a brush in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go over now to Photoshop, Photoshop CS6. And I would if it just didn't suddenly clear down. So I'm just going to bring it back again. There you are. And I'm just going to go to the file and then open. And once you've done that, you can actually see here's the PNG files. Right, there's all the various PNG files. They're all uh, there. Click open. And now that appears. Now it's actually got transparency, which is actually means you can actually also use it for things like patterns as well. So you can just go to define pattern command and just use that for a pattern or use it as a texture, convert it to a PSD file, use it as a displacement. Vast number of uses for these files, PNG files. So I'm just going to now go to edit menu, define brush preset, and it comes up. And now, of course, you can give it a name. There's the actual size of the brush, 1,855 pixels. Click OK. And I'm going to go to one of the brush tools, and there's the brush tool there. There's obviously a selection of brush tools. Also, you can use it with like smudge or the blur, etc., etc. So brush tool. And I'm just going to go to a new document. But one thing actually before I go off, I'm just going to say you can also resize this. So you can just go image, image size, and you can set obviously maybe a thousand and the key reason for that is that in some versions of Photoshop certainly earlier versions you might only be able to size say use a brush size 1000 by 1000 or 500 by 500 the same in other applications like uh, paint shop pro where there's a certain file size limit for the actual brush so uh, you might have to resize the brush quick and easy to do that and then go to the edit menu define brush preset and you can see slightly full, small size but of course let's say in some you might actually see that the define brush preset is actually disabled and you have to the only reason there is the file size is just too great the actual dimensions of the file so uh, just resize it and then the define brush preset and the same with the define pattern if uh, there's certain file size limit sometimes in certain earlier versions so uh, just gonna now just gonna go over to file and I'm just gonna select that brush just there and I'm just gonna apply it. I'm actually gonna resize it because again sometimes it actually fills the entire screen and this is only a thousand by a thousand the, the actual brush is so big it actually goes outside of the actual screen it's not much as good as a, as a brush so and then just apply the brush stroke like that of course you can apply different settings there's a over here there's a brush palette and that's not available you just go to the window and then brush just to select it and you can set obviously the color by the swatches or just by changing the color here so just click OK just apply the brush stroke like that of course you can set the color dynamics so I'm just gonna set the foreground jitter 91% so it's going to be between red and uh, blue and you just see the different colors as you apply the brush strokes of course you can apply it to a localized area apply it to a image that you've got whatever 